Hello my dear children of class 2. Today we will do a new topic that is from your English grammar book chapter 8. Right? And the topic is more verbs. Simple present. Present here means what? What is happening right now? Okay? Now you know what the verbs Verbs are doing words or action words. So today we are going to do what? Simple present. So children, today when we are talking about the verbs in simple tense, as we know when we did nouns, naming words, we know noun what? In a singular form as well as in the plural form. Right? So if I have got one book, plural will be what? Books. But here when we are going to do this topic, it will be something opposite. Okay, when we are using one noun, in the verb, action word, we add S. Okay, and when there are plural, more than one, what we are going to do? Let us see through the examples. Right, children? Now, look at these sentences. I'll read for you. He sings. They sing. Right? She walks. We walk. He talks. The people talk. Now, here you see, he is what? One. Right? So the verb is, we add S to the verb. He sings or he plays, right? Now here, they. They is what? More than one, two. They means many people, right? More than one. So here, when it is plural, more, the verb becomes, we remove that S. S is omitted. It's removed. We don't add. Here you see she. She again is what? One person. One girl or one woman. Okay. She walks. So we add S to the verb. And then we. We is what? More. More than one person. Right? We walk. So here you see he talks. Okay, he talks. So, and then the people talk. People, plural, right? He talks to the girl. Next is, we talk to the girl. So, here you see, this is what? Singular. Okay, singular noun. And here, for singular noun, when we use verb, we add S. This is what? Singular verb. Right? He is. When we write singular, we add S to the verb. And when we write plural, we just remove that S. We talk to the girl. One more example we'll do. Now next example. The dog chases the cat. Right? Next one is the dogs chase the cat. So here you see noun. Noun is what? Singular. There's no as a noun. The dog. So what we do here? We add S to the verb. The dog chases the cat. Right? Next one is the dogs, that is what? Plural, okay? Chase the cat. So here we just remove the S. The dogs, that is plural, chase the cat. This is also plural, but here when we write this sentence like this, when the subject, when we are talking about something here, that is the subject, when we are talking about that particular thing, Dog, we are talking about dog, that is plural, we remove S from the verb. 
right now look at the third example mary bakes cookies right mary one person so what we have done we have added s to the verb okay baking is what the action doing was right so we have added s now here you see the sentence below now mary and john there are two people okay plural mary and john bake cookies now that s is been removed from here so this is what is more about verbs that we have learned today simple present right now children from your grammar book can you take out page 31 more verbs simple present and write today's date we'll read all the sentences okay the dog chews a bone i walk to school now here you see the dog is what plural chews a bone so here choose is what is a verb so we are talking about dog dog is what singular so verbs what we will do we will add s okay i walk to school now i is what i is considered to be what in a plural form right so what we do i walk to school that means what there is no s to it right now let us read this we use a singular verb with one person animal place or thing we use plural verb with with many persons animals places or things we use plural verb with I and you. So I and you plural verb is used with I and you. Note that a singular verb is verb plus s or es. That means with the verb like play, we add s or watch, we add es when we are using a singular noun. While a plural verb is the first form of the verb. The boys play, right? The boy plays. So, understand this? So, today what we have done? Just the introduction of the chapter, more verbs, simple present. So, understand this. In the next video, what we will do? We will do more of written work where we can understand where to add S on or where to drop the S from the verb. So till then children, take care. Bye.